Yo, if you're just starting out in email marketing or if you're looking into getting into email marketing, which you should if you haven't yet, I got some really, really solid email marketing automation strategies that you're gonna be able to implement after watching this video and the number one tool that you can use when you're doing email marketing. Stick around, you don't wanna miss what's coming next. Yo, check it out. Before we get started, my name is Zachary Babcock with underdogempowerment.com. And look, dude, if you're just getting into email marketing or if you're just starting out, you want to avoid a lot of mistakes that I made and a lot of countless other entrepreneurs have made in the process. So I've compiled 24 costly email marketing mistakes into a complete comprehensive guide that you can get to get more clicks, subscribers, and open rates in your email subscriber list. And it comes with a completely free access to my email marketing course, which I will literally take you step by step on all the beginner phases of everything you need to know about email marketing so you can get up and running and get your first 100 subscribers right out the gate. Check that out. That's in, the, I'll link it up in the comments or in the description below. All right, the first thing that you're going to need to know about email marketing is that you're going to need a good email service provider. Now, what that is, it allows you to do a ton of things, really. And if you don't have one, if you're doing email marketing, you're legit crazy. But allows you to do a lot of things on automation like send out bulk emails called broadcasts to all of your lists it allows you to send out a series of emails which is what we call an autoresponder that you emails that you pre-write in a series and it goes out automatically to people as they subscribe to your list it allows you to segment your list by tagging people and a whole bunch of other cool things that you'll learn about especially if you get my 24 costly email marketing mistakes guide and access to the free course but for the purpose of this video let's stay focused you need an email service provider the one that I recommend is ConvertKit. You can check them out in the description below uh, or the link in the description below. The reason why I chose ConvertKit because I've tried other uh, email service providers in the past like ClickFunnels, for example, that were very limited and uh, very frustrating and it didn't allow me to do all the things that I need to do in order to serve the people that are joining my list. So check out ConvertKit. All my future videos uh, will be based around if you have ConvertKit, although a lot of this stuff will work with other email service providers as well. So if you already have one, cool. Um, and You'll also get access to uh, more of my advanced videos where we're going to talk specifically about using ConvertKit. Once again, that's up in the uh, the link is up in the description below. So let me tell you a story though of how I underutilize using automation in my uh, when I first started off with email marketing. I like many others, just was concerned on growing my list and I didn't really uh, focus on the nurturing aspect. And that's exactly what an autoresponder allows you to do. When people are joining your list, especially if you got, you know, like from on YouTube and they're coming to contact with you for the first time or you're running advertisements to them, they don't really know you that well yet. And so an autoresponder series is a series that you could walk people from their journey from when they first come into contact with you to getting them uh, excited to take the next step with you, whether that's buying an affiliate product from you, uh, buying one of your own products, or just uh, setting them up for something in the future but helping them get some quick wins in the process. I was underutilizing this because I was just focused on growing it and I would just blow through and maybe like write one follow-up. In an uh, autoresponder series, you should have, for real, legit, you should shoot the aim from 10 to 20 email follow-ups that you're literally walking people through a process. You're getting them to get to know you. You're entertaining them at the same time and you're educating them in a really, really rock-solid way. Write this down. A really rock-solid way to build that relationship, to nurture them, to get people to become a raving fan of yours or at least to keep them coming back to opening up your emails is to actually help them get a specific result that they want, a desired result that they want. Help them get a quick win. If you do that, people are going to love you for it. All right, now that you know that you're going to help your subscribers get quick wins in the emails that you send them, that you follow up with, um, some other ways that you can get them engaged and excited and actually open your emails is to actually provide an open loop or create some type of curiosity or a desire to scratch the itch in your subject line. Now, your subject line is that little thing that you can read whenever you get an email and you read the headline. It's called a subject line. It's, uh, it's usually uh, really short, and it, it's what you want to use that for. You want to use that small piece of real estate is to... Not give a summary of exactly what your email is about, but to kind of be clickbaity in a sense. There's nothing wrong with clickbait as long as you deliver on the bait. So get people excited about like where they read it and it's like, oh, I have to open this email right now. And if you do that, if you get really good at creating a desire to scratch the itch with your people, to, and the itch is obviously to open up your emails and read what you're talking about, 
then they will actually open it. So you're opening loops. That's how us, how our human brain works. If you open a loop, we have a strong desire to close that loop. That's why a lot of uh, uh, soap operas uh, shows, they always leave on a cliffhanger and they keep people waiting around to the commercials over to keep coming back. Or at the end of it, they always leave it at the cliffhanger. That's exactly what you're trying to go for here in your subject line. All right, cool, man. You're helping people get in quick wins as soon as they join your list and your email follow-ups, and you're also creating engaging subject lines that gets people to actually open up the email in the first place. So let's head to the computer. I'm going to show you what this looks like in person, and I'm also going to give you another strategy that's pretty legit that's going to help you put some moolah in your bank account when you use it right. All right, here we are in ConvertKit. Now, what I love most about ConvertKit is that it's really simple to use. The interface is really simplistic. You don't have to be a tech guru to understand this, like Infusionsoft, for example. If you're a guy like me that's not really technically advanced, you can hop right in and do your thing. Now, let's dive into a sequence. This is a sequence I already built out. You literally write this one time each email. Now, anytime anybody opts into the list, they get all these emails in sequence. And if you want to add new emails, just click Add Email. If you want to drag it around, boom, you can drag it around. Uh, super simple to use. Now, first things first, when your emails like we talked about, subject lines, you got to draw them in. You got to create that desire for them to scratch the itch. Right here, three rules for email marketing you should never break. If you are into email marketing and you read that, more than likely you're going to read that and you're going to want to click the email and actually see what's inside because it's opening a loop on something that's interesting to you and you want to know what the answer is. Now, the key here, man, uh, five strategies to build your email list with quality subscribers. You're definitely going to click on that email if you're into email marketing. The key here, though, is where most people get wrong is that they don't deliver on the hook on the actual subject line. And then they tell some story, hit on the pain pressure points, and then they, they link to a product to get the solution. They don't actually help you in the email. And that's where most people are dropping the ball. If you want to win and stand out in front of everybody else, man, actually help your people inside your emails. Help them walk them through step by step on how to achieve a process, how to achieve the goals that they already have. You got people that value their money more, which are the do-it-selfers. And if you do that, they'll just do it themselves. Cool. And then you also have people that value their time more. You show them it and they're still going to want to hire you to do it. And guess what? Even the do-it-selfers, if you help them get results, they're going to sing your praises to everybody else, which brings you more people in the long run so play the long game actually deliver on your subject lines and help people get quick wins in your emails and you'll build a highly engaged audience with email marketing finally part of that step-by-step -step process it could be one of the steps might be like in this one for example might be an affiliate product that you use like I use convert kit and I'm recommending convert kit just like I am on this video to my audience after I'm helping them inside of this course get a specific result they don't have to get convert kit it's just the one I recommend boom they click on that I earn a commission at no additional cost to them Maybe you help them through a step-by-step -step process and now they have a new goal and that new goal has a problem that they need to get through and you have the solution for that and you can link up directly to your sales page there. And that's ways that you can monetize as well. There's literally a ton of ways. Make sure you get the uh, lead magnet, the, uh, the uh, 24 costly email marketing mistakes to get this whole entire course so we can go through this step-by-step-by-step. -by -step -by -step. Yo, real quick, if this video helped you at all, give it a thumbs up. If you thought it was crappy, give it a thumbs down. Make sure you hit subscribe to the channel so you continue to get the number one resource that's going to help you level up in your passive income business. And if you want a more advanced guide on how to generate more leads and sales online very quickly, you definitely got to check out this video right there. I give a complete tutorial that's going to show you three phases of what you need to do to make exactly that happen. Go check it out right now, and I'm going to see you on the next video. Peace.